I recently traveled to St. Bart and I thought it would be fun to share with you where I stay, the places I visited, and some fun things to do in the island in case you're thinking about visiting St. Bart soon. We truly love the experience and we can't wait to go back. First, we stayed at the Christopher Hotel. This is a beautiful hotel located north of the island. It has a large infinity pool overlooking the Caribbean Sea. The first night, we had dinner at La Petite Plage. It was amazing. And if you're thinking about doing something fun during the day, I definitely recommend renting a boat. We spent the whole day in a catamaran, which was perfect to relax on the deck and enjoy the sun. They took us to a little island about 20 minutes away from Gustavia. The water was clear and calm. It was perfect for swimming. We had so much fun that day, so I definitely recommend renting a boat if you've come to St. Barnes. The next day we visited Nikki Beach. If you want to spend the day at a beach club, this is definitely the place. We came for lunch and to relax at the beach for a little bit. The food and the drinks were amazing. The whole ambience is really nice too. Great music, great service, great food. You really have it all here. You can find all of the looks I wore in St. Bart's on my Instagram at Pam Arias. I have a reel there with everything I pack and how I style it. We had some unexpected guests outside the door of our room and I guess this is the island life. Now, just wait for it. The next day, we went to one of my favorite places in the island, Shelona. This is a Greek restaurant and beach club located in the popular Shell Beach. The food was delicious, healthy, and flavorful. Great for sharing and trying a little bit of everything. Then we actually went back to Nikki Beach that day. At night, we went to the AP house in Gustavia. This is the first AP house in the Caribbean and Latin America and where AP lovers seek leisure and hospitality. It's the perfect setting for watch aficionados to relax, connect, or disconnect. They also host exclusive events where guests can discover the manufacturer's creations and its savoir faire. We ended the night at the popular French restaurant Bonito. Our last night, we decided to try a new place called Sela. This is an Israeli restaurant and the food was delicious and very unique. And that was all for my trip to St. Bart's. I really hope you enjoyed this guide. Don't forget to like and subscribe.